So today I'm in Pensacola, Florida, and I'm headed out to do another fish taste test. The target species, Romora. So I'm on this little shallow water reef and I've thrown out a bunch of chum on this reef and I've got these uh, fish up. They're kind of in a little feeding frenzy here. They're eating the little cut up bait that I've thrown out. Um, and there's two or three, four remoras down there swimming around eating the chum as well. So I'm, I'm just trying to wait on one of those to pick up my bait. Uh, I've had a few come by, but no takers yet. So, like you can look at them like this. I'm just trying to let it sink down. Oh wait, ooh, one's hitting it, one's hitting it. He's got it right now, he's got it, he's got it. There he is, got him, got him. I think this is a remora, <laughs> I hope it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is him. There we go, that's the target species right here. All right, so now that we have our fish, I'm gonna take it back and cook it. And I have two blind taste testers on standby. They have no idea what kind of fish they're about to eat. So this is gonna be very interesting. For those of you that aren't familiar with remora, you may know them as the fish that ride the back of sharks. Basically, they're a parasite. They stick on the back of sharks and they eat their leftovers. So check out the suction that they have on the back of their head right here. This is how they ride the back of sharks and other large sea creatures. You can actually stick this suction to something on your boat, your body. I've had clients stick them on their backs before. And it's extremely hard to, uh, to pull it up once they attach themselves to something. All right, time to find out what remora meat looks like. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin trying to clean these guys. He's so thin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, their skin is extremely tough. There he goes. They do not have much meat on them. Let's put it that way. I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised at actually how white it is. All right, so here it is. Here's the remora meat right here. Um, it's actually rather, uh, rather white. So I'm really interested <laughs> to see what this guy tastes like. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, cook much of it because I don't plan on eating a lot of it. But I am gonna, uh, I am gonna try it for sure. So now it's time to go back to the house, cook it up, and get our blind taste testers ready. So I just got back to the house. We have our fish right here, our remora. I'm gonna put some light seasoning on it, some basic fish seasoning, salt, pepper, chili powder, and then I'm gonna pan fry it. And after I finish cooking it, we're gonna get our taste testers. We're gonna bring them out. We're gonna see what it tastes like. So this should be interesting. All right, so the fish is ready to be cooked. I'm just gonna fry it simple in butter and olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna fry it about two minutes on each side. Okay, so here is the finished product, and here's our two blind taste testers. So this is my beautiful mother, and she's gonna be the first up to taste it. And this is my sister, Caitlin. She's also beautiful, and she's gonna be the second one. All right, no, go. how Just, about you go first? All right, take a little piece, Mom, right off the side. Okay, and we don't get to know what this no, is. No, not until afterwards. Can I smell All right, y'all go, go at the same time. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Oh, God. Go. <laughs> do it's it. fish. Just go, mom. Can I just take? I need just what did you think? I'm mom? gonna do half of this piece. It's good. It's good. It okay. smells terrible. <laughs> okay, go. But it tastes okay. What do you think, Caitlin? It's interesting. Is it? if it didn't smell so bad. Oh, I got a bone. I think. <laughs> okay. Did, so so it on, honest it, opinion. It tastes better than it smells. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to taste a piece. Um, 
It's, it, it's surprisingly tasty. It's mild. Yeah, mild. It's, it's, it's actually not, not, it's not fishy. It's not fishy. All right. No. For someone that knows a, a decent amount of fit about fishing and how fish taste, I would say that it tastes uh, kind of between mixed between a cobia and a redfish. Uh, it's kind of uh, kind of mild, but uh, has some has some nice flavor. But it smells but very it's, bad. It smells horrible. <laughs> like horrible. Why does it smell like that? I don't know. I don't know that it does smell bad. It's terrible. <laughs> okay. I, I actually think they're yeah. over-exaggerating just a tad. But, yeah. I mean... I, <laughs> it smells <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching episode 2 of Fishing Taste Test. If you like this video, shoot me a thumbs up and I'll keep doing them. Uh, you guys have a great day.